go, Dollywood Harvest Festival. All right, go inside the Dollywood Emporium right at the front, see about getting a hat. Got the Harvest Festival, stuff all over the place. So it appears most of the hats are $16.99 plus tax. So now I just gotta decide which one to get. There we go, we got a nice selection right over here. All right, decisions, decisions. So between these two designs, and these three colors. So I'm thinking I like the one that says Dollywood, Tennessee. So I'm probably just going to go for the, uh, I guess the one in the center, why not? Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at Dollywood Resort and I am here primarily for the Harvest Festival I've been here for their Christmas light display probably around four or five years ago. I brought my mother up here. I'm here today solo. I've never been here for the Harvest Festival. It's close to Halloween, October coming up a few days from now at the time of this recording. So I'm looking forward to this. There are a few new rides here that weren't here the last time I was here. So I'm going to be enjoying the park during the daytime when it gets a little bit later and starts to get dark. That's when all the Harvest Festival festivities begin. So right in the front you can pick up your map to get all the different details about the event. So it's going to have all the details about the Harvest Festival. You do get a map in the center. It's got the daytime features and the nighttime features. Most of the areas around the park have all of the different pumpkins. The only exception is going to be the county fair section as that is supposed to be during the summertime so it would kind of ruin the the look and feel of the of the county fair park. So other than that everything else has different pumpkins. I'll just, like I said I will show you going throughout I saw everything during the daytime so it's gonna look a whole lot better in the evening I purchased my refillable drink bottle earlier today it comes with this little little paper on it that has today's date so I get free refills when I come here tomorrow I'll have to pay for refills so Dollywood does their holidays really really well they're Christmas light display was gorgeous, so I'm really looking forward to this. Down in Florida, we don't really have a fall season like up in the northern states, especially like the northeast where the leaves change, all the different colors. In Florida, we basically have green and then brown. So I really love the autumn, fall time of year. Despite what I may have said in other videos where spring is my favorite you know, time of year. I guess it depends on how I'm feeling, but to be honest, the fall season is my favorite. It's always been since I was a little kid. I always enjoyed Halloween and just the time change goes from all the hot months of the summer and it starts to get a little bit cooler. So all around the park, you got the Harvest Festival information regarding all of the different foods, like Harvest Sweet Treats. All right, so from the front, I'm gonna be heading to the right. I'll make a complete loop around. Right in the front, you got the Spotlight Bakery. This is their specialty menu. You got the pumpkin cookies. I like these leaves. You got up above here. And they all change, change shade as you go along. This is pretty neat. And a Show Street ice cream. They also have a few of the holiday items. Ice cream sandwich. And a pumpkin spice milkshake. 
lots of little messages from Dolly Parton herself. Also got specialty kiosk all throughout. People selling their different crafts. You have some Harvest Festival merchandise. Got all the lights. Now my first time walking through today, I thought that these pumpkins were not real. I thought they were props. Turns out all of these pumpkins with all the different signs, these are real pumpkins. These are legit. I didn't think they were. I actually uh, touched one. I noticed uh, imperfections on them. Tells you where they were grown and how much they weigh. Some of these are like really, really impressive. I mean, look at this one right here, 2,004 pounds. That is amazing. Eight hundred fifty-seven pounds, and you got this giant one for nine hundred twenty pounds, four hundred three pounds. I mean, that's impressive. Two hundred sixty-five. A big old giant white pumpkin. Thousand and fifty pounds. Wow. Got this giant pumpkin stacker. of their festival fair locations. Barbecue chicken, loaded sweet potato, vegetarian chili, loaded sweet potato, pork belly, loaded sweet potato, and pumpkin pie punch. Now it's over here in the Market Square. They have a smoked brat sandwich, a spiced pumpkin bisque, and an autumn apple palmer. And right across you got potato tornado, a twisted dog, salted maple potato tornado, and a sparkling berry apple cider. Got more of these ginormous pumpkins. Another message from Dolly. Uh, 1,427 pounds. Woo! More of the specialty shops. You see how real pumpkins lining a lot of the, the pathways of this area. Another the specialty kiosks. This one's 612 pounds. 343 pounds for this squash. That is, wow. 1,048 pounds. Wow, hey man. Now the best is from Dolly Parton. This pumpkin's 579 pounds. There's pumpkins everywhere. All right, another of the Harvest Festival kiosks. We've got a Harvest pulled pork sandwich. Chicken and smoked sausage gumbo. And wassail. All right, you got this stop right here. With all these reefs. Lady so right here, very talented, makes all these. <laughs> Absolutely love all these. Her shop is located right near Geyser Gulch. I saw this earlier and absolutely love it. It's like a big old tree. And those are all real pumpkins and heirloom pumpkins all around it. Where all these, I believe, are made out of made of foam and plastic. One 
their specialty shops. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at these sculptures, hound dog chasing Kurt up a tree. Little kid trying to catch him. I just love all the autumn colors. Usually I have the oranges, yellows, and reds, and browns. Got some ducks enjoying the water. Our right, next area I'm going to is called the village. And they cross the railroad tracks. All right, so show you the stationary map. See right where I'm at. I start out on Show Street and Rivertown Junction. See right where I'm at. I'm in this area right here. I'm gonna show you the villages. Like I said, County Fair does not have any of the Harvest Festival stuff. But once I'm finished with that, I'm gonna make my way around to all so of the different areas. The Fair, and we're heading toward... The Dollywood Express, this is a real steam locomotive. Very, very cool to see this train here. I really like this area that I walked through earlier. Get all the pumpkin people. Got this pumpkin man doing a nice painting. This guy's eating a slice of pizza. Because they're right next to the pizza shop. Little pumpkin kid trying to catch some bugs. Another kid trying to catch some bugs. The kid's hanging down. Another one. I love this. Got the one pumpkin kid walking the pumpkin dog. Right across the train station, got the Iron Horse Pizza. I right, got another one of the Harvest Festival foods. We got a pumpkin sausage of a cotta flatbread. We got this pumpkin guy here. We got a nice photo out. We could sit next on the bench to him. No one of the vendors is selling all of this cool chainsaw art. Hard to believe all this stuff is done using chainsaws. Then you got real pumpkins all throughout. This is really cute. You got pumpkin man father lifting up his pumpkin kid. <laughs> Another one of the pumpkin guys. All right, we got the pumpkin band. Just hear him singing now. You got this fellow here. Reading a story to the kids. So this guy was trying to fly a kite, maybe? And I found two more pumpkin kids right over by the carousel. All right, so showing the map again. I just did the villages. Like I said, country fair section does not have any of the Harvest Festival stuff. Now that there's Jukebox Junction, that's why I didn't show it to you. This area road down here is being renovated. So here's where I came in. Went all through here, here. Now I'm gonna wait until it gets a little bit darker because all along here, they're gonna have all their stuff lit up. And it's gonna look so much nicer when it is dark. Now, just in case you've never seen my tour of Dollywood that I did about five years ago, I am going to be doing a new complete tour that includes Wildwood Grove and the Country Fair section because I missed that during the last time and of course Wildwood Grove was not even open yet. Alright, so that's the way I came up into this area. So I'm going to take the other pathway that goes up and around the other side of the tracks. Right over here in Miss Lillian's barbecue corner. 
More of the Harvest Festival food. Got Harvest pulled pork, loaded mac and cheese. And three bean pumpkin chili. Sounds actually interesting. All right, this next area that I'm gonna be entering is Craftsman's Valley. Really like this. Oh, the honeybees are pumpkins. And so are the sunflowers. <laughs> this is so cool. Absolutely love this. All right, one of my top suggestions if you do come here, the one thing you definitely have to try is the hot fresh cinnamon bread. Right here at the grist mill. Stuff comes with cinnamon and icing for dipping. It is the best stuff you will ever taste. Unless you're allergic to gluten, then you probably shouldn't have it. This has all the white pumpkins down below. When you saw all the pumpkin bees, you can actually get honey right here at Huggabee. It says they're pricing. Alright, so I got a bottle of orange blossom honey because that's from my home state of Florida. Really cool. He was saying that they bring all the bees from here down to Florida each year to pollinate all of the citrus crops. This time of year, everything is pumpkin spice. Our next area up is Hoot Owl Hollow. Now while I really want to wait for it to get completely dark, it's almost 7.30 and the park closes at 9. So at least you can see some of the lights are on. That is just so cool right there. You see the other one's a lot better underneath the little canopy here. All the owl pumpkins. All the owl pumpkins along the side. Of course, this is the main attraction here. Big old giant owl pumpkin. More owls all along the bottom. Right here is a great photo op. More of the owl pumpkins. More of the owl pumpkins. On the side of this mountain, you actually have real eagles. This gorgeous bald eagle. The great pumpkin Illuminates is up ahead. That's the main reason I was waiting for it to get dark. Because all this part of Dollywood has all the lighted up pumpkins. Wow, now this is fantastic. I absolutely love this. That was pretty neat. You know, all shaped like pumpkins. Yeah. Off of here we got the purple lights. We were walking in, we were walking. There we go. I'm not sure how it's going to look on the camera because looking through my lens, the lights do not look purple. They look more either clear or a blue tinge to them. Got the fog machines going. Uh, 
God, that's really neat. Got these other pumpkin owls hanging up. I want them too. <laughs> that's my life. That's how mine is. <laughs> well, there's back here all the games. The chance have all of the Harvest Festival themed prizes. I like these pumpkin chew, I would call them, I guess. Oh man, this series got all these giant spider webs. There we go. We got all the spider pumpkins. This is awesome. There's spider webs. There's spiders. Absolutely love this. I like these. Got some squirrels. Yeah, do you like all the squirrels? Pumpkins here. We got pumpkins in the shop windows. These pumpkins are right by the Wild Eagle roller coaster. There we go. Right by the Fire Chaser Express roller coaster. We got the firecrackers and the booms. This is so cool. Big old pumpkin guy. And then you got all the little smaller pumpkins around him. That is so neat. Then you got all the fires and the fire trucks and the fire plug right there. We're about Splinter's Trailside Snacks. Oh my God. Lots more pumpkins. Got some happy pumpkins. This is what I've always liked this time of year from ever since I was a kid. Just love all of the jack-o'-lanterns. When I was a little kid and I was a Cub Scout, we had a jack-o'-lantern contest every year. And mine won four out of the five times. All the flowers. So, 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 so cool. Sunflowers just happen to be my mother's favorite type of flowers. More owls. Reminds me of Harry Potter. Trying to get a good view of them without it blurring. So I'm trying my different filters. It seems to work good. More of the pumpkins. Most of them are happy pumpkins at least. It's so all by Timber Canyon. These are all bat pumpkins. And I'm right by the 
Grand Mine Train roller coaster. I'm going up this path, you can see Mine Train roller coaster right there. Going up this pathway. This time we know we're at Dollywood. Got all the butterflies. More of the butterfly pumpkins. Alright, this area is Wildwood Grove. Okay, great pumpkin luminites. This whole area is newer. Open in 2019. This roller coaster that's right here opened back in May of this year. Like this. All the sunflowers. All throughout this area. Got all these pumpkins here. Oh, she got pumpkin carving. Now these are real pumpkins that are carved. Like the raccoon. Putty tat. Got the bat. Other kitty cat. Wow, that's fantastic. The bears. I really like the way the trees all lit up. See up in the trees, all these butterflies. Yeah, this is nice. And all the bears. The trees. Got a deer, bunny rabbit, bear cubs. A train going by. Like the leaves and the dragonflies. Go, Big Bear Mountain. That is the newest roller coaster in this area. The bear scratch there is the logo. This big bear search party. I like that the shutters have all the pumpkins on them right now. Alright, going back by the mystery mine. Alright, we got more of the bat pumpkins. Scary pumpkins up there. Got some more sinister looking jack o' lanterns. More of this scarier looking stuff. Like that. We got the duck pumpkins. By the drop line. Yeah. 
I'll do the pumpkin. They're about the water, you got these froggies. Good frogs. Good ribbit. Yeah, this is nice. Here we go. So we got a puppy dog. Kitty cats and bunny rabbits. Oh yeah. Oh, the big pumpkin. It's sort of spooky music playing. There we got these cats right next to the Thunderhead roller coaster. That's pretty neat. Oh wow, I like this. I'm gonna look like it's a bonfire or campfire. Hello! Hi. Hi friends watching the video! <laughs> You're going through the light tunnel! Hi. Oh boy! All the nice LEDs! I'm so glad that light technology has progressed where they can do stuff like this now. For LEDs, we just had the color changing lights. Wasn't really cool like this, though. Again, all the autumn colors right here represented. That's cool. This wagon's got tonics, herbs, and snake oil. I should get the term snake oil salesman. This is neat. Get the disco balls going. It's funny that this right here is in their cemetery. These pumpkin people having a a disco fun dance here. They don't care if they're in a the graveyard. They're still having fun. Oh man, they got the good tunes playing now. Got the Bee Gees instrumental playing. These pumpkin people here posing with this very cool looking coffin. More pumpkins, yay! Alright, so it's the other end of the great pumpkin luminite section. So, so, so cool. That is fantastic. I absolutely love this. Wow. And of course, all the butterflies down below. 
All right, so I backtracked at a big old pumpkin tower or pumpkin tree, if you'd rather. This is in the shape of a tree. So, so, so neat. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for. Dollywood's Harvest Festival 2023. I had a wonderful time. Lots of cool stuff. I enjoyed it very much. Went on a lot of good roller coasters also today. Can't film the roller coaster rides. However, I do have some that are on my channel from a previous trip. So look up their Dollywood rides if you're curious. So leave some comments down below what your favorite part of the Harvest Festival was. Uh, I really, really enjoyed the great Pumpkin Luminites. That was fantastic. Lots of really cool stuff to see. Hopefully everything came out all right. I tried different filters for different areas because my camera wanted to pick up on the lights and make them brighter. So I tried different ways of filming it. Hopefully it's gonna look better. I'll finagle with it during editing, so hopefully the finished product is going to be good for everybody. So if you are new to my channel, I go to zoos, aquariums, theme parks, amusement parks, roadside attractions, state and national parks. I do occasionally holiday events such as this, so if it's something that you would enjoy, check out my channel. I upload new videos every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I had a fantastic time. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it, too. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye.